Hold on. I have a cord that's gone astray. Ah, there we are. And move Mike back into position. Okay, uh, let me just make sure that everything here is looking good. And it seems to be. Very good. Oh, you know what? I could probably lower the bitrate. <sighs> I wonder if I should do that. <sighs> you know, do I have a... Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have CBR on. Let me check real quick. I do have CBR. <laughs> well, never mind. Um, hmm. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to... I, I'm gonna restart real quick. Sorry if you just popped in uh, and were waiting on me from the last stream, but uh, one moment, one moment. Okay, there we are. That should be a little bit better. Uh, yeah, no need to do 3100 uh, bitrate when we're just doing stuff off the Dreamcast. And looking good, so let's get right into it. I changed the ticker and everything, so that's all. That should all be sorted out. Uh, we move on from our uh, intense God of War action drama, and instead we go to our happy little Sky Pirate game. So, change of pace, but I did want to play both of these games at some point today, and uh, streaming was a perfect opportunity to do that, so if you're wondering why there's a transition, uh, or why I was on for a little bit and came back, uh, yeah, that's why. Streamed a little bit of God of War, now we're going to Disguise Arcadia, but different capture cards, uh, different setups, so I had to make a bit of a transition, went offline for a moment, then came back. Anyway. Last time on Skies of Arcadia, we went and ventured forth in search of the Purple Moon Crystal, which of course harbors the element of ice. Uh, got to the land of Glacia, found the hidden city and the temple inside, and it was it was an adventure. It was nice. Oh, did I not do Lambda Burst? I thought it. Oh no, that was a counter attack. At least I hope it was. There's a counter-attack too, okay. I guess these guys are just easy to counter. Uh, in the process of doing so, we discovered Drachma and Rocknam, uh, our previous captain who ran the Little Jack ship that we were on for some time, and Rocknam, the Arc Whale that he was hunting. Turns out that Rocknam was the Purple Gigas all along. We just, we just defeated all the enemies and we didn't even get Lamb to burst out. Great. <laughs> Let's just use it on the one, fine. I guess they must have caught us by surprise. Uh, but in the attack, because last time we saw Drachma and Rocknam, we were being attacked by, um... Oh, what the hell's his name? <laughs> Ramirez. That's right. Uh, so... He suffered fatal wounds and ended up dying. And after that, we parted ways with Drachma and left with the Purple Moon Crystal. So, now we're on our way back. I think I'm gonna hit up Crescent Isle. Provided we get there in some sort of easy enough fashion. Not too familiar with this part of the map. Uh, I believe what we've been looking forward to ever since we got through Yafatoma was uh, getting those blueprints actually installed on the Delphinus, so that's kind of what my anticipation is going to be next, uh, as we're just going to be installing those, and then we'll be able to have new ship capabilities that'll let us fly really high and really low. Ooh, 
Oh man. <clears throat> A little tired, but that's okay. Persevere here. Uh, where are we exactly? That would be the easiest way to get over here. Actually, we probably could have just, uh... Oh, man. Yeah, I wonder if I could do that instead. Well, I actually might not be able to without the proper equipment, so... That might not be an option. I was thinking about going south and then hitting it up from the north. I don't think we'll be able to do that, so let's just head over this way. Because this is the way we came from, so... I, I feel like I attempted that before, uh, trying to get here, and it did not work. There was something we couldn't cross. Maybe it was a sky rift of some sort. Are we going in the right direction? We need to head a little bit more to the east. Uh-oh. Sucked into a vortex. I can feel it pulling on the ship. Yeah, come on. A little more. There you go. Okay, where are we now? Uh, we need to, like, bypass this a little bit. I hope I'll be able to get through from this side. Yeah, we will. Hey, look, it's Pirate Isle. No! Oh. That's a pretty good stretch without getting into a battle, though. Right, we're in, like, easy territory. I don't think we have much fear from these things. Oh, man. Um, not too sure what I want to do, what's on the agenda for this game as far as doing a lot of the extra stuff. Going after discoveries and whatnot might be nice, which reminds me I need to go to an agency and try to sell off some of my discoveries. It's been a little while since I've been able to do that. I'm sure there's quite a few that have racked up. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to try and get all the crew members. Uh, I don't even know where to look at this point, though, because it seems like I've gone everywhere that you can logically go. And I've talked to most everybody. And uh, I'm still missing a few people. In fact, there's one position that I have not yet filled. I don't know what that is. It would be nice for, one, the ship battles, and two, for... Um, the Blue Rogue Super Special. Oh god, are we able to get past this? Maybe we should look at going this way a little bit more. I don't know, we breached it. Close to Valoa. That's not exactly where I need to be, though. There it is. Oh boy. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can make it through that rift and try to come at it from another angle. Because those Valoan mountains are a little bit tall. Okay, just go to town. We'll, uh, we'll see if Lambda Burst can do something here. Over there. Fire consume my enemies! Lambda Burst! Oh, yeah. I'll probably go skip that. Eh, it doesn't hurt to watch it every once in a while. It is effective, though. Oh, nice. An 
Oh, right, this thing. I went in here before. There was a bit of a pirate's graveyard. Yeah, there it is. Lots of shipwrecks. Okay, so good. We can bypass the Balawan mountain range. Should be right out here. I should be able to see it. There it is. The home base. I wonder if the changes are visible from... I don't know. I had what's-her-name working on one of the... lodgings. Ah, these guys again. Bam, bam, bam! They're back! And the hull seems to be in one piece. <laughs> of course it's in one piece. Little ice isn't gonna hurt it one bit. Hey, Captain Vice, got that book from Yafatoma. I built an engine for you using the plans in that book. Until now, you haven't been able to fly above or below the clouds because the pressure differences were too hard in your engine. But no, that's not a problem. You know, when I was doing this voice for this guy, I wasn't expecting him to be talking so much. He'll be able to fly over the mountains and beneath large islands. He'll be flying all over the damn place. Yeah. Really? That's great. When can you install it? I'll install it tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn. <laughs> With the new engine, we'll be able to travel to more places than ever before. All right. Everyone in the meeting room. Let's decide where we're going to go next. Wait, 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 we have to, we have to see. Actually, we need to go up here anyway if we want to go to the meeting room, but we have to, we have to see what changes were made to, uh, our lodging area. Oh, it did change, so it is reflected on the, um, world map. That's neat. You know, I was expecting something a little more Yafa Toman. Maybe it is. Hold on. Eh, maybe it is. Eh. Just looked like it had, like, shingles and, um... These triangular rooftops are a little bit weird. Captain, need anything remodeled? I'm more than happy to add a little Yafa Toman flavor to our base. Uh, remodel a building. Decorate the island. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I was like, what What building are we doing? Uh, yeah, do the tavern. So I'm gonna remodel the tavern. It's gonna cost you 1,500 gold. Do you still want me to go through with it? Yep. Okay, leave it to me. The tavern will be remodeled in Yafatoman style by the time you get back to the island again. Cool. Okay, so her sister, uh... <laughs> this little crap shack was the, uh, the tavern her sister wanted, um... And the big lady, I guess she wanted another style, but her sister wanted a Yafutoman kitchen or something so she could make Yafutoman food? Why not? Let's bring a little of the east down here to the west in Crescent Isle. Oh, and, uh, he can do some remodeling, too. Oh, you want me to fix up the place? Dang, where should we start? I don't know. You know what? Let's leave the fountain to the Afatomans, because their whole thing is water. So, yeah, go ahead and do the relief. Then I'll scope the face of one of you in that wall over the pond. So whose face do you want? Uh... I'd like mine sculpted. <laughs> this is what prevented me from... Even though I liked Vice's blue rogue flag, uh, it just seems like such a se selfish asshole thing to do. Like, oh yeah, my design's better than your guys's. My face just serves to be up above the wall. Um, I don't know. Fina's would probably make for a better sculpture, but the fact that we chose her flag, I feel kind of sorry for Ika. So yeah, do Ika's face. I can sculpt Ika. That would be kind of tough, but I love a challenge. I await to see what you do. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> we 
We couldn't go through with Ica's flag, though. No way. It looked, uh... What was it? It was a cat with Ica's hair? I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to, like, fly that everywhere. Not much in change of dialogue, that's all right, I suppose. Uh, let me check something real quick here. I'm always afraid that the mic shuts off, because it did that once. It actually did that the first time I streamed this game. Uh, and I kind of have no way of knowing. I just saw the... Uh, Anytime I see the mic blink, like the light on it blink, or think I do anyway, I need to give it a quick check just to make sure. Uh, otherwise, there's no point in me doing commentary. Okay, that's the next order of business. What do we even have left? Alright, got the purple crystal. All that's left of the yellow and silver. Uh -huh. The Silvite Elders already have the silver crystal. So we really only have to worry about the yellow crystal. It looks like our mission is almost finished. But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Maw of Tardis and Balawa? Last time we went there, we couldn't get in because uh, the opening was sealed. Uh. Yes. The Valoans have made several unsuccessful attempts at removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to bypass the seal with the Delphinus' new engine. According to the geologists of the Valoan Empire, lower layers of the Valoan Islands are filled with cracks and fissures. In other words, there is a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valoa. All we have to do is fly around underneath Valoa and look for an opening. I see. So in other words, if we can't get in from the top, we'll try and get in from the bottom. Yes. We'll fly below Valoa and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. <laughs> Since we can fly higher and lower than we ever have before, we might as well take advantage of it. <laughs> that pose again, oh good. Exactly. Let's rest up for today. I'll leave for Valoa first thing tomorrow morning. The Riker Supreme. We'll just call it that. Who is that a picture of? Is that a picture of his dad? Oh yeah, he doesn't comment on stuff. Uh, no, 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 you just rested. Is this... Riku's room? A lot more Yafa Toman stuff that I remember. Wait, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, turn around. Hmm, this is in Rinke's diary. Hmm, nah. It would be rude to read it. I'm sure there's plenty of interesting things written in there, though. <laughs> Fuck, how funny that he keeps a diary. This picture of Boegi stuffed inside this box. I think Enrique is in love. That is pretty evident. Oh, uh, you know what? A lot of the Alpha Toman stuff might be because we, uh, we did the barracks here. Nice, now that we can go higher and lower than we ever have before, we can explore all of the places we haven't been yet. That is true. When we last saw him, Drachma said that it wasn't going to be easy for him to start his life over. Do you think he will rejoin us when he feels better? I can't really make any calls on that, I'm not too sure. 
Probably not. Maybe he might come in like, uh, pull a Han Solo and, uh, last second when we need him most, he'll appear, but until then, I think we probably have seen the last of him. Mm, I found a lot of uh, islands where some really interesting animals live. Where's the island, you ask? <laughs> it's a secret. Well, if you're only interested in the animals... Uh, oh, God. <sighs> Hold on. You know, I was thinking last time when I was streaming God of War, uh, I should turn that off before I start up again, but I didn't. I, and we have to live with those consequences. Well, if you're only interested in the animals, I can bring some back here. It will take 500 gold to pay for their food and stuff. You still want me to catch some for you? Like a one-time fee, or is this an ongoing thing? I'm interested to see what you do, so yeah, go ahead and catch some. Some animals, huh? Hmm, might be nice to have some pets around here. Uh, why not? Go ahead and catch some for the island, okay? Aye, aye. But first, what kind of animals would you like? Something cute from the east, something colorful from the south, something scary looking from the west. Mm. Let's try something scary looking from the west. <laughs> uh, well, since we're air pirates, we should probably get some scary looking pets. Aye, aye. I'll go catch some right away. What about the north? There's nothing in the north? Or are we in the north? What do we have now? I hear like chickens. Oh, they're the chickens. Thanks to these guys, we can eat fresh eggs every day. And meat once in a while, too. I don't think I want to talk to anybody else. Let's go take a look at the ship. I want to go find that rainbow. There's like, where's the pole? There it is. I'm assuming we don't need to talk to him to do anything here, right? Yes, by all means, return to the ship. Oh yeah, that meter is definitely a lot longer than it was. Wow. Look at that. Hey, there's a rainbow. You found the Rainbow Island. What lies at the end of the rainbow? It's a question everyone asks when they're young, but as they grow out older, it is often forgotten. Perhaps only the few who remember can find the legendary island at the end of the rainbow. Hooray. That's really the only thing I remember being like really high up, so uh, beats me what else is available. But yeah, sure, we could go take a look around some places. Maybe we could find something, perhaps. I get, a fe I get the feeling that if we, uh, there, now you can watch. Welcome back, Lane. Uh, I get the feeling that if we go to Balawa, we're gonna be locked into something for quite a while, so... I might use this opportunity to kind of explore a bit. Uh, but then I'll probably get tired of that at some point, so... <laughs> Who knows how long it'll be before then. Uh, but yeah, sure. Like, how far down can we go? Somewhat ominous. I wonder if there's even a point to clicking around here. Oh, look, we might have find, found our first uh, low elevation discovery. Dancing lights. You know, I found a pair that were very similar to this on mid level. A natural phenomenon that can be seen underneath the Valoan continent. 
It is said to be caused by electricity from the yellow moonstones in the Valoran soil. Some say that it is caused by a giant creature that lies deep inside the ground. I've been watching a lot of My Hero Academia. Uh, I haven't watched the anime yet, but I've read I read the manga from day one. Uh, and I liked it. Then I stopped reading it because there was a point where subs weren't available for it anymore. Or no, not subs, that's for anime. Um, translations, scanlations, they weren't available for a while. Uh-oh, I got a rotating compass. Here it is. On the Ballon Wreckage. Twenty years ago, a flagship of the Armada disappeared above the northern Nazarod, ab or above northern Nazarod, near the end of the Valois Nazar War. Some theories mention a murder attempt on the commander of the Armada, but the mysterious disappearance has never been fully explained. Uh, what was happening? It's been a while. <laughs> Um, uh, but let me think, what was happening? All the heroes had just finished their big, like, tournament thing, and they had gone to, like, heroes of their choosing, or maybe even in some cases, maybe it wasn't their choosing, I don't know, uh, to go train with them for a time, uh, and it was around that, that era. <laughs> Hero killer arc? Probably, yeah, because I remember that dude. Also, I've forgotten, like, most of the names, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I want to watch the anime, though. It's like, mm, I've never really been a fan, because I usually just read it. But I've never really been a fan of, like, the anime adaptation. There's always, like, a lot of filler, and then they just drag shit on for ages, and... Uh, it's not as satisfying to watch. Some cases it is, but... I don't know. Yeah. One Piece was okay, um, the anime adaptation, but... I don't think I liked it as much as the comic. I should pick it up again. I, I got no doubt that it's really good. I really enjoyed reading it when I was reading it, but, um... You know, you just kind of get out of the habit of stuff. <laughs> it's like, I don't got time for it anymore. I can make time for it, but it's just a matter of when. Well, we are like right in front of the non or the Valoran gates. I don't even really know where I should be going at this point, as far as like trying to look for discoveries. I'm just gonna head towards an island and we'll just see if there's something above or beneath it and call it good. Like fish. Uh, oh. Also, I might be able to bypass stuff like the Dark Rift. I wonder if I could, like, go under the Dark Rift. Oh, look, there's a bunch of stuff over here. You know, it's so sparse underneath the clouds that... Let me see. And that proved that theory wrong. I was thinking that anything that pops up would probably have some kind of discovery on it, but that might not be the case. This looks rife with... Yeah, look at that. Found the flying machine, an odd-looking ship whose origins remain a complete mystery. The fluid design and strange metals used in its hull have led to theories of a ship built of another world. Really? Uh, and some even go uh, so far as to say that it traveled through areas without air. Imagine that. Ships that can travel on sea. It's like a subtle hint uh, of difference in the music. It's a little bit of a angelic bell. Can't see. There we go. I wonder what happens if we go underneath one of these things. Like this one. Actually, there was one that was touching on the ground. I should go back to that one and see if there's some kind of discovery with it. I still think there was. Let me see. Yeah, these rifts. 
There's too much going on. Okay, I don't even know where I am right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're still kind of close to Pirate Isle. Uh, it's still kind of around South Ocean, though. What is this? Oh, come on. That looks like it's a discovery. There's been some difference in the uh, encounter rate. Seems like they haven't been occurring as much. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping that going so deep or so high that there would be a change in enemies. Uh, but it appears to be just the same. Well, I guess that's fine, though. <laughs> that was easy. Don't be so cocky. Now, you know what? One thing I should check for, because we haven't really done it in a while. Um, I found a bit of treasure, but not much is I should see if there's any upgraded weapons available for sale anywhere. Oh, that's the uh, sky anemone or whatever that is. It's not something we want right now. Hmm. You know, I could have sworn I saw one of these tornadoes like touching underneath the surface here, but looking at some of the biggest ones, and I'm not seeing anything different, so... I guess that might not be the case. Really that far south? So there's the purple moon. Ah, oh, yeah. Give me those. Give me those sleigh bells. Oh, hey, you can see the city from down here. Cool. Oh, you can actually dock with it too. Hmm. Did I open that? I have not. Well, that's nice. How do I access the menus? I'm all turned around now. Uh, we have like three moonberries now. I could probably give Ika her next. I could have given it to her a while back, but... How many do I need for the last one? It's like four or something like that. Something ridiculous. There might be three, I'm not too sure. Creates a mirror like Aura that envelops Ika for one turn and restores 10 MP. Oh, but just her, I see. Actually, it's probably three, considering that... Uh, the last one needed only two, so... I think, actually, wait, 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 ah, oh, I didn't want to go that far. Yeah, um, this just takes us back to the regular temple area. Which, I feel I was pretty damn thorough with. I don't think I missed anything on this one. I don't think Eggmeister's here, otherwise I'd ask. But yeah, we're probably, probably good on this one. Or even if he was here, I don't, I don't think he was here during the uh, last stream I did where I did this temple. 
but it looked pretty sparse, so I'm just gonna say that I'm probably good. Uh, oh, but I wonder the one in uh, Mount Kazai could go back to that one. That one was awfully long, though. Uh, if I revisit locations, I'll probably want to just do that on my own time. Finding new locations, though, that's a completely different story. Actually, those aren't sleigh bells. What if the sleigh bells are above the surface? Oh wait, Dark Rift. It's my chance to test it. Uh, hmm. Maybe? Well, looks like we're making headway. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we made it up north. Wow, there's this whole area that I haven't looked at yet. Or... No. Uh, it's not letting us through. Maybe we could go over it. Keep getting caught on stuff. Wait. What the hell? What was that? Awfully strange. <laughs> Enrique, why are you so far away? any penguin behavior or activity right now. Oh no, they changed the order! <laughs> I was just going on muscle memory. Um, I guess I must not have picked the Lambda Burst, though. Well, that's what happens when you get a new move. What was that? That wasn't even a move. That was just like swooshing. <laughs> okay, how many do I have? Just the four. Let me see here. Okay, Lambda Burst is in the number two spot now, as opposed to three. Guess it's not as valuable anymore. That's fun. Okay. Am I able? Ooh, I just might be here. Yeah, looks like it. Anything else I could do with the Aurora here? I mean, I found it before, but I didn't really go up to it. Okay, well, uh, either way, it looks like I could by bypass Dark Rift by going over it. Can't go under it. But... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go west a bit, because there's this, like, chunk of territory that I don't think I've had a chance to look at yet. Or, okay, really west. Let's just stick west. Hmm. Huh. It's just like a dreary, murky place.
No, oh, looper battle. Lots of loopers. Yeah. Come on. Surely you could do better. Over there. Wow, not a single hit. Oh boy, now we gotta watch all of them run individually. Great. Oh, that guy decided to use something. Let me check my mail while I do this. Wow. Whole lot of nothing. swords in a while. Let's see if that does anything. And we can just throw a lambda burst in there for good measure and just see where that takes us. Oh wow, it actually worked! Normally the uh, attacks that affect everything don't do anything, but I guess these loopers are just that weak. Wow! My goodness! I've never seen two drop before. Uh, oh no, you do need four. Damn! <laughs> the only, the last one only took two. Come on, be generous. All right. Well, one more moonberry, and we'll have Ika maxed out for her supers. Also, where are we? Did we go anywhere? Did we find anything? Doesn't look like it. And this adventure isn't all it's cracked up to be. Oh, wow, more loopers. Oh, this is just like looper land? Is that what this little territory is? <laughs> this little pocket? Uh, here, Red, why don't you do that, and we'll see if we can take them all out again. Maybe we'll get another Moonberry. This is like, uh, this is like Cactuar Island. In many a Final Fantasy. Yeah, it only did a little bit. Yeah. Can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even do that much damage, come on. Landed. An utter victory. Moon berries. Well, at least they learned Incubus. That's good, right? Yeah, there really is nothing out here, but, uh, I don't know, let's see if maybe this is the land of the loopers. 
Let, let's see uh, what our next encounter is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of loopers. Uh, hmm. Sure, just attack. Man, it just seems wrong to just give it to y'all right here, though. Spam this move. Okay. Uh, I guess we could try Lambda Burst, see if it works. I'm not using a Curia just to get Vice out of sleep. Oh. Well, I guess we know not to use that again. Mm, it's a water element, but it shoots fire. I don't know how I feel about that. the moonberry i guess if we ever need to farm moonberries we know where to go uh as much uh as i would love to do that not really uh, i think i want to move on elsewhere if i need to farm i'll, I'll do it but i kind of don't want to i can summons the powers of the red moon to destroy all of the enemies on the screen nice omega cyclone Sounds interesting. Uh, well, what does Enrique need? He only needs two. So we could probably have him set with four or five moonberries. So yeah, before... I mean, I don't... I just don't know what endgame is for this game. Are we at endgame? Or is that not quite a thing yet? Hey, seahorses. What? any discoveries on this thing. Okay, I kind of want to fly underneath one of the temples and see if there's something I can do with it. What is this? Oh, this is just basic level. Like, I discovered that egg before, right? Come on. Why that? Of all things, why can't you read that? Uh. Damn it, I should have saved after I got like a special. Maybe if I could close it and open it like real quick. 
that might do something, but nope. Oh man. Well, you know what? Because I was relaying the uh, the story last time uh, about how I had bought two additional discs. This is my second. Technically, it's my third because I'm counting the uh, disc two for the first set that I bought. But my my third disc two uh, of getting this game, and uh, I was able after having sent back the back case uh, art to that one dude that I accidentally kept the original for. Uh, he just refunded everything in full, so fortunately, he didn't take out. A grip for shipping and handling or anything like that to send me my other one back. I hope he sent it back. He never really mailed me. I told him I sent mine back. I guess he felt he didn't need to do the same. Uh, I should check the mail though. Maybe it's in there now. But he must have gotten it back because he just sent the refund and it was the refund in full so at least I got all my money back. Still I had to pay a $10 difference in order to get um, this new disc, which also arrived with scratch. What the hell is it with people and not being able to keep their disc scratch free? Like, wh uh, why can't you keep it in the case? I mean, obviously there's something wrong because they're selling it without as, you know, as just a single disc. But what is so hard about it? Why can't you just not fuck with your discs? Like, even if you didn't have the case, surely you could just like leave it somewhere and not Scratch it up. Okay, so uh -huh. I gotta do this again. Uh -huh. The only thing that we discovered were two ships that were kind of on the sub level and then the rainbow. It's just a shame about that looper stuff, though. I could go back to... the Ice Temple. I'm gonna hit up Pyrin first, uh, just to see if there's anything over there, and then I'll kind of go in that direction. Maybe I'll do it on my own time, because I'm thinking about quitting here in just a minute. The God of War ended up taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. I guess we can't be too, um... I don't know. I don't know how I want to describe it because it's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> but if even discoveries will have trouble loading, that's... that's a bit of a problem. I mean, the good thing is discoveries are optional, but... You know, I wanted to find them. If I can't even do that, well... Uh, and, you know, of course, there's also a good chunk of story left, so I'm a little bit worried by the fact that there might be some instances where we might not be able to progress certain parts. I mean, these are very... a lot of, uh, you know, ifs, buts, maybes. So, there's a chance that we won't have any problems, but... There's also a chance that maybe that last occurrence was just a fluke. Hard to say, though. Oh, wait. Seahorses, let me get you. Why are they so sparse? Okay, we got one. What is this? Sand falls I got already. At some point I could have sworn I saw a ship flying like really, really high. I have to 
something I can meet up with or not. One of those other ships was near Valoa. So we might want to start ducking under right here. Help people find something. Or refind it, I suppose. Oh, hey. That's where one of them was. Okay, so we got the volume wreckage. Oh, yeah, we found those lights before, too. Man. I'm gonna go back and get those. There they are. Ominous. I'm guessing that's the entryway to the place that we need to get to. Tortoise. Okay, I just want to refine that one. Not that one, that's the one I already found. It's gotta be like over in. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, like over here. Maybe not. It was closer to South Ocean, I think. Oh, hey, there's the, uh... Oh, that's not a tornado that touches down, that's a rift. That's disappointing. I wonder if that's what I saw the first time around. What is that? What is that? Are we in Yafatoma? Looks like a Yafatoman building. Oh, wait, no. I don't know what that is. What the hell? It's not letting me, like, click on it either. Ah! simple ones though, so off with you. seems like something. Okay, here we go. What's this place? Why are there buildings being built on an island way down here? Yes, my, my question exactly. Why? Uh, and yet, we can investigate no further. It's not a discovery, it's not... Something we can enter, apparently? Maybe it's story-related for later. Eh, whenever I try to click on it in any angle or capacity, it just doesn't do anything other than that, so... Cool? I think this is one of the ones I was trying to see if there was something on there. 
uh, which didn't have anything on, which means that this is the one that has the little Grecian boat. Okay, we need to go... Yeah, let's start heading south. We'll look at that moonberry again. I wonder what that building is now, though. <laughs> Like, what purpose would it have? Maybe it's a secret installation from Valoa. Using as a means to build some sort, construct some sort of super weapon. Maybe. terror you constructed is nothing compared to that of the force. Mm, but even then... Uh-oh, I think we hit the dark rift. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta go a little bit this way. Even then, the Vala was, like, walled off, so... Like, what would it matter where they build in particular? again. Oh, what a shame. I was looking forward to using that, like this stream too. Having gotten it. Maybe I will luck out again. Who knows? Get a couple moonberries. Actually, I would need three. Please. Thank you. Go back south. Let's see, is that the dark rift? I think it is. And then we need to go west. Just make sure uh, we're, yeah, we're in the right location. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna do a handful of battles here. See if I can get some moonberries. Uh, and hopefully maybe get Ika's special back. And then never click on that egg again. Something beating on my mic stand. I'm hearing like a lot of jittering. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, those are the loopers that we seek. Okay. I want to see if Rain of Swords does anything, so I'm gonna save up for that and try that next. Mainly because it's attack based, so maybe. If Vice can manage to hit them, uh, it'll do some damage. We shall see, though. Actually, we could do it right now. This pirates, not pirates, right? Only affects one. Okay, give it a try. Let's see what goes what goes on here.
Oh wow! He actually did damage to all of them. Nice. That's fun. Keep that in mind. Damn, no moonberries. Just goes to rift. Still getting a lot of shake. I need, you know, I need to invest in a. Uh, although I probably can't since I have a blue microphone, but I need to invest in one of those things that prevents vibrations from happening. One for, ones for the blue microphone are like a hundred bucks. Last I checked anyway. Doesn't really seem worth it to me, but maybe if it's gone down in price. Come on, Enrique, no. Come on. You failed me. Oh, good. That's fun. Still no moonberries. Man, to think like one or two battles in, I got two of them. And then a third, like the next battle or the second one after that. So hard to hit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste a rain it. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a waste, but yeah, there you go, I could hit it. Could take him down that way. Uh, I learned Incremus, but still no moonberries. What a disappointment. This time around, so maybe that will do the favor that we need. Yeah. Yeah. That worked last time. Yeah. Ah, they're gonna start running. up all my opportunities this one brave yellow looper has decided to stick around probably because he could get that two for one hit yeah. 
Ooh, nice counterattack. We did it. Mm. I give it two more battles. Two more. And we'll see what happens. I wonder if I could get him with a Lambda Burst. I don't think so, though. Oh, let's just get through this. If I could hit Reign of Swords, that, then we are Primo Golden. This might have been a sneak attack, given that they all attacked at once. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, now the running begins. Yeah, maybe we can get some counterattacks in here. Yeah, Fina. There you go. Come on, Reign of Swords. Do it for me, Vice. Like, right away. Not just eventually. Yeah! Okay. Let's see. There you go! Hit all four remaining. One more. Hurry up, come on. Well, let me break out the black flag. Whatever that was. That's it. Oh, I, I think there's a green one like way off in the corner. Yeah. Ah, so close. And yet he can't even run. Oh, very nice, Enrique. a one-time fluke. Damn. Uh, I just got three Moonberries so quickly that time, and we had to lose the save. What a pain. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to save here. Yeah, unfortunately not a terribly long stream. I think I'm going to play this a little bit on my own time. 
and maybe we can get some of those moon berries. Oh, there goes my stand. Okay, nice. Cool. <laughs> uh, but I'll do that later, perhaps. We'll see. See what happens. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, it's been a long one. We only did an hour for Skies, unfortunately, but that's because uh, God of War ended up taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. But it's it's for the best. I don't really want to jump into Valua quite yet, so we could do something before that. Uh, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Might do more of this. Uh, I might want to hold off. We'll see. Ah, it's like I'd hate to look into it. I wonder if there's like a spoiler-free guide or something out there. It's just I'd hate to look and see what I'm in for. If it's going to be like, if I'm... I don't even want to know if I'm close to the end or not. It's hard to say. I'll figure something out. We'll we'll see what we need to do. It's just like I would hate to go all the way into Valua and then have it be some long thing uh, where I can't come back out of it. And it's just that's just what happens when you're playing games blind. But we'll we'll figure it out anyway. I'll be back tomorrow with something. So stay tuned until then, and we'll see you then. Have a good night.